uh, it was towards the, I think it was towards the end of two thousand and nine. Keith approached us because he'd done a bit, little bit of work in the summer. Uh, I think it was it was a poetry um, event in 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 the summer, and he approached the this fund to do this project called Personal Best, and said, "Would there be any young people that would like to take part in it?" So Gavin contacted us about the movie, and we all agreed that it'd be a fun and exciting project to do. We found it interesting, so we involved all the lads and just came up with a collection of ideas. We have a very good group within the project of young people who wanted to take part. And so we really began maybe November, December of last year and we started with our very first workshops. So then we all started to make stories and then we gathered it all up together and then we had to vote and chose which one was good. And then we took some ideas from the other ones and then we created it. Well, it's funny, we were telling some of the lads one day, we wanted to make a, a really good, we wanted to try and make a tear joker one day. But basically the story maybe of um, a lad who's had a hard, um, and basically the story, I think, then maybe the boxing came into it, and then the mud, or the aspect of mud in the street, but it looked like maybe it might be drug dealing, or might be one aspect of it. So really it was a development of the idea, was really a tear joker, a, a story of a lad trying to make, make the, the best of what he's got. Well, basically, me and my colleague, Gavin, we're sitting down, we're just, he was just discussing about the movie, and suddenly the movie comes along, and they were just talking about the movie, getting new ideas, and that's how we came up, really. Like, all of us, really, it was just like, like, gathering ideas from each other, like, especially Muzi, Shahid, Farid, and Gavin, and, you know, and we got help from Alison, yourself, and Keith. Um... We got our ideas from Alison, uh, yeah, and uh, who helped us a lot and um, guided us through and made the um, like the script make sense and made it work and interesting story. You came in obviously. We needed you know expertise. There was an idea that needed to be put down in sort of like a format that people were going to be able to understand and, and it was going to be entertaining as well as informative. There was two people creating the script. There were Muzi and I think it was Fasky. Um, we picked the story, the main story, like the main storyline. We fixed it up and that, polished it, and then we, uh, me and Faust and Alice, we went into another room and we thought about what we're gonna write and what we're gonna say and the action that we would need to do. Uh, Dave came in then performing, and um, he sort of helped. We all have ideas of performing, but proper, you know, proper, like, in terms of how you express emotion and stuff like that. He sort of came in and did those workshops with them and have you, you know, be confident in what you're doing, and obviously. And uh, he did about four or five workshops, I think, with the lads. And they really, really enjoyed it. He really, you know, it was great fun. I think there's more laughter going on than acting. And so really, that's, that's where that guidance came from. He, like, helped us on our facial expressions, our body language, our gestures. So it just made the movie a lot better. Uh, well, in school, I picked a uh, drama in school, so I'm doing it in school and that. And then I've done it before in a contact project, been at comedy festivals and another movie that checked me. Um, unfortunately, I didn't do performance. I did um, directing, so I was mainly helping Shahid pick out the shots and um, just try direct everyone like in their positions and help them what to say and that. As I was filming the actual film. Throughout the film, Keith was beside me, helping me, telling me about white balance, Irish, um, shuttle speed, and I just slowly, slowly picked up some few key parts to the camera. Um, I've learned to become more of a leader of the project because as I'm, I'm director, so I have to take charge and um, be positive to the characters and try and motivate them and um, yeah it's just basically being a team leader and just keeping everyone happy and the film that we have to use the camera ourselves and uh, we had to that one of us had to be the director and that as well so, and we had to come up with the idea they've been involved in a couple of multimedia stuff we've done over the years small little comedy we've done a comedy festival show that years ago you see one of them uh, Muzzy who's the, the, the gangster in the film. Uh, he was Ali J one time in the comedy films. So they had little experience, but never making their own story, uh, directing it, camera work, 
with the character should be in that ring. That's what they're forced on me. Oh, well, uh, that is good. It, it was hard. Yeah, and uh, like, it took a lot of time. And it's not easy. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> um, it's hard work. It's not as easy as it looks. A 15-minute film takes a lot of work in terms of a lot of commitment because there was commitment shown by the young people particularly in coming to the session then then in, in, in put, producing the film. Um, it's very exciting stuff. It's hard in terms of you've got to really know what you're doing and that's where Keith and everybody's the expert roles like yourself coming in and Dave helped us. We wouldn't be able to do it without it. But it's a, it's a really exciting project and I can't wait to see the, the final product. Yeah, it made the group a bit more, you know, like... Also, the group had um, developed new skills by Fasky, director, and Muzi, who's done acting before, so he hasn't really learned nothing. I've learned um, key skills like confidence and like the qualities of being an actor and, yeah, and the basics as well. Yeah, I've loads of memories that... There were uncuts that loads of people were messing up and then that just made us laugh and that. And then when Gavin used to come in his car, yeah, honing at us, waking us up and that. Oh, I have to say that waking up early in the morning and getting Gavin at your door. Gavin! Gavin coming round. Day, day, 139. <laughs> Calling me and my brother to wake up. Especially I have to go every day, innit? <laughs> yeah. Going around uh, on uh, the holidays, picking all the lads up. <laughs> and saying, where are you? One of the scenes when I had to be on the phone and I just had to, like, say anything. And um, I was just saying some random things about us a lot. And, but obviously it was, it's not in the movie because we just muted it. Because I had to, at last, like, talking on the phone to Muji. But seeing them... Um really making a film and being, you know, times you look at them and say, like, action and then being really professional about it and times getting really serious and seeing, you know, them pulling together. So it's really inspiring, like, you know what I mean? Uh, it makes me quite proud because we put all the effort in and it paid off. For Reed Yusa, <laughs> director. <laughs> Hi there. Um, my name is Shahid Sidi Khan, and during this movie, I was a director of photographer. Photography? <laughs> photography, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, I'm Muzi, and I was recent in the film. Yeah. I'm Faz Yusuf, and I played the <laughs> character of Carla. Go morning, go morning. <laughs> I am Gavin Wilmot, <laughs> uh, youth party leader at the Conduct Fair in St Matthews. <laughs> you couldn't break me, couldn't break me.